Hi, are you an entrepreneur and do you want to have success online? And do you want to have, or do you want to have more impact online or both? And this video is a very important one for you. In it, I will be sharing seven secrets on how to make your online funnel, and I will explain if you don't know what a funnel is, to be a success every time. It's a mindset, but also some strategies that you need to know in order to do that. First, let me shortly introduce myself. My name is Jurek Sikas. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. And I help entrepreneurs who want to fight for sustainability or are fighting for sustainability with growth, fast and sustainable growth. I help them to break through and grow like bamboo. So without further ado, here is the video. All right. First thing you need to know, the definition of a funnel. And the best way to explain what a funnel is, is to explain what a funnel is not. And what a funnel is not, it's a website. It's not a website. So where a website is a brochure where you can find all a million types of uh, buttons. In a funnel, you have a clear sequence where your customer follows through online. So it's step by step and they only have one option is to go through the next step. That's a funnel. A website is all kinds of buttons. A funnel is something online that is page by page. It's a sequence um, specifically designed to sell products or one product. All right, so that's a funnel. Now, the thing to know about funnels is if you have never have made one, the first one that you will make will probably be a failure. Very motivational, right? But it's true. Because most of the times you um, will not be able to create a funnel directly that will work um, the first time around. Most things in business and in life do not work that way, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed, but that's the way things work. So, funnel audibles is a concept uh, created by Russell Brunson. Audible is when... Uh, it was based on, I think it was um, football, American football, where, where an audible is, is that you change your strategy right on the get-go. The thing you need to understand is the first secret is that you need some basic marketing math knowledge. And you need to know two statistics. So the first one is, ow. <laughs> the first... The first one is cost per acquisition. So what does it cost for you to acquire a customer to go through your funnel, basically? Second number is the average cart value. So basically what uh, the, the average is of all the people going through your funnel, how much on average do they spend? Because if your CPA, and now this is the math part, if your CPA is lower than your average cart value, let me write that down, to make it simple. All right, it's mirrored, but ACV higher than C, uh, uh, cost per acquisition. So cost per acquisition is lower than ACV. What does that mean? It means you get more money uh, from one customer than it costs you to acquire that customer on average. That means your funnel is profitable and that's what you want. The first secret that you need to understand. Second secret that's really important. Before even creating a funnel, you need to find the control. And that means find what is out there right now. Find what funnels are out there right now that, you, that are used right now and that are probably successful. Now, if you want to know more on how to do that, contact me or leave a comment and we can talk more about it. But that's the first thing you need to do. You need to find the control when you want to build a funnel that is successful to sell your products and get more impact online. So, three. So, secret number three is to know your maximum card value. So, we talked about the average card value, so the average that was spent on your value 
uh, on your funnel when uh, the average person goes through it. There is also something that's called the maximum card value. So what is the maximum that people can spend on your funnel? So if you have a product that is worth five bucks, if you have a product that, that's worth 50 bucks and you have a product that's worth 200 bucks, your maximum card value, the maximum that they can uh, spend with that funnel is 255. Fourth secret is then, um, what do you spend on your marketing budget to test this funnel? Well, it's simple. All you have to do is find out what your uh, maximum card value is and take that maximum and that will be your marketing budget. If you have to spend more than your maximum card value, your, uh, <clears throat> your funnel is probably not working. Secret number five is earnings per click. This is an advanced one. And if you know how much you earn per click, if it's a low number, if it's under like 50 cents, then your first page is probably a brick wall. So the page that they use to register and give your email, or give their email address to you. That page is probably not performing. So check your APC, calculate it, and if you don't know how to, just use ClickFunnels as software and they have that number calculated in. So you won't even have to calculate it yourself. Number six. Number six is you have to let the market vote. Don't think you know what your clients will, um, uh, don't think you know how to structure the funnel yourself that it will be successful. Most of the times you'll be wrong. And the reason how to um, deal with that is by just testing. Take out your credit card, put some money in the funnel, see what happens. If it doesn't work, your market has voted that it's, it's not good. <laughs> and you need to change something. So you split test. You test, the diff you test different headlines, you test entirely different landing pages, and you test, for example, uh, different videos. Now the last secret on how to make funnels work is the most powerful one. So if you stick around for this, awesome, because you get the best secret. The final secret is called funnel stacking and it's the best way to create uh, a successful funnel because um, Dan Kennedy said this, the business that can spend the most to acquire a customer always wins. So if you, are, if you raise your maximum cart value, then you can spend more on a customer in that funnel. But there's a really important but. You cannot have offer after offer or upsell after upsell that you have 20 upsells and it takes a customer three hours to go through your funnel because that's a bad user experience. They might buy stuff, but they will be really pissed off at you. So on a rule of thumb, uh, if you want to do, for example, you sell a book, you can only do two upsells on informational products. If it's a product that you're selling, you can do more because people are kind of used to that, that they are getting upselled in a web shop. But I won't do more than four. Um, now there's a secret that I use uh, or I am going to use in my webinar funnel so that I stack three funnels on top of each other and that the maximum cart value is over 10K. If you want to know more about that, check out my previous video. Just go to my YouTube page and find the latest videos and check out my bamboo uh, f.onl. So the sideways f.onl. It's how I am structuring my own webinar, uh, my own webinar funnel, so that it has a really big uh, maximum card value, but without um, sacrificing on user experience. So check that out. Thank you for watching. If you are the person that wants to fight for sustainability, uh, please subscribe, comment and um, stay in touch because I would love to help you break through and grow like Bamboo.
This has been Yorick, and I'll saying thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.